Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I have a really special story I want to share with y'all. It's about one of my favorite goats. His name is Creole. Now, y'all may have seen Creole before as the one who jumps on Megan's back and attacks her, but I promise you there's a lot more to him than just that. Look right here, Megan has 26 goats. She has so, so many, but Creole always seems to be in front and in charge. He's the ringleader of what they do. Even right here, you see him on his hind legs reaching for leaves that are a little bit too high, and then watch the other goats behind him. They start copying what he does. They want to be just like Creole. It really is amazing how he just has a very contagious and vibrant personality. But without further ado, let's get right into Creole's story, because his is a very special one. A very, very special one. All right, guys, so Creole's story actually begins in Humble, Texas. He was born and raised as an FFA goat. Now, I don't know all the nuances of FFA, but from what I understand, there's two types of auctions. Let's say auctions. The first is your typical live auction. It's like one you'd see on TV where there's a bunch of people placing their bids and the highest bidder wins whatever's at stake or wins the prize, which is usually an animal like a goat or a cow, I would assume. And the other is called a freezer sale. I think Google would give you a better answer than what I can give you on what that is, but basically from what I've been told, a freezer sale is basically what the name suggests. An animal being raised and being taken to, well, the freezer to be um, made into food. It's the better performing animals get to be a part of the live auction, but the animals that don't perform so well typically go to the freezer sale. And that was Creole's destiny. That would have been Creole's fate because Creole wasn't a very good performing animal in FFA. However, his owners had developed a relationship with him and didn't want to see him suffer that fate. But they couldn't take care of him themselves because they didn't have enough property and resources to take care of him. So they began searching for a home that he could go to. And I guess eventually word got around and a mutual friend of theirs informed Megan's family that there was a goat who needed a new home. And that's how Creole came to be at Megan's house. Creole came to live with Megan's family in about January 2020. He was six months old at the time, which makes him born around June, July, or August 2019, which makes him a little under two years old right now. So I haven't known Creole his whole life, obviously, but in the past few months I've come to know him. There's two really unique things about him that give him such a distinct and vibrant personality. The first, this is funny, I just love how he always stands on his hind legs. I have never, I tell you, seen a goat stand on their hind legs as much as Creole does. Whether it be to reach for tall leaves or whether it be to get on somebody's back, he just loves standing on his back too. And like I showed you at the beginning of the video, some of the other goats that look up to him, they even copy what he does. And it's just awesome. It just shows how contagious his personality really is. But the second thing that he does and the more heartwarming thing is that he's a really, really good nanny goat, believe it or not. Whenever they first got Creole, he was meant to be a companion for uh, their blind goat, Elvis. Elvis obviously couldn't protect himself from the bigger animals and couldn't navigate around the yard very good because, well, he was blind. He is blind, obviously. And so Creole was a very good bodyguard slash GPS for Elvis. I never really saw that, but what I did see firsthand was how good of a nanny he was to the two new babies that Megan's family adopted from us, Freddie and Georgie. I've even went out there and I've seen Creole sleeping with Freddie, Georgie, and Elvis just being a good bodyguard and protector of them. So he really is a great nanny, guys. But those are some of the reasons why I love Creole, and hopefully now some of you can come to love him too. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for his story, guys. With that said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy LD out.